What's shaking, guys? It's Danny B. NH Guy. Today's Monday. I uh, swung by three Goodwills today, guys. Uh, I swung by the Goodwill Hudson, New Hampshire, uh, Hookston, New Hampshire, and Concord, New Hampshire, guys. So over in Hudson, New Hampshire, I spent $30.60. Um, Hookston, I spent $11.55. In Concord, I only spent eight dollars seventy cents. At all three stores, they all raised their prices one dollar, guys. So, all the shirts that were six dollars are now seven, and they have these other price categories: is things that are ten dollars, twelve dollars, fifteen. Um, yeah, they've jumped up a few dollars in price, guys. So, at least. Salvation, uh, St. Vincent de Paul, they don't go up. They went up recently, but it's only like 25, 30 cents. But um, yeah, guys, Goodwill is killing me. But uh, I'll show you what I got. First up, Goodwill Huts, New Hampshire. Yeah, like this shirt right here is $7, guys. Um, CM Punk, Double or Nothing. AEW World Champion, AEW Wrestling T-shirt. And uh, whenever I see CM Punk, I like to pick it up. It's missing the tag on the middle. I'm going to do some research on this guy. It's hopefully over 20 bucks. <clears throat> I, looked this, uh, I looked this up, guys. This is a Gear for War 2015 uh, video game. Graphic t-shirt, and they have a lot of good sold listings on their video game t-shirts, guys. Uh, this shirt was $6. So it was a mixture of $6 and $7 shirts, guys. But um, hopefully I can get over 20 bucks for this. I actually put a couple shirts back because I just didn't think it was worth it. Um, Next up is a Peter Millar Crown Crafted Men's Polo Golf Shirt. And this is the Ocean Course, Kilauea, Hawaii. Men's size small polo golf shirt, guys. So it's not a good, not a good size. And I gotta do some more research on this uh, golf course. But um, it's a good brand. <clears throat> Decided to pull the trigger on it, guys. Hopefully, at least 25 bucks for that. And uh, yeah, that was seven bucks. Last up, Hudson, I paid up for this. This is $14, guys. Um, I looked up this brand, and there's a couple good sold listings. It's called Atlas for Men, Made for Adventure. Uh, this is a US. Extra large uh, world world cup world team cup rugby academy men's jacket and uh, like I said, I looked this brand up. There's been some couple good sold listings. So and there's been there's been some good sold listings of this rugby world team cup. So with a combination of those two, I took a I took a Kevin Gamble, guys. I paid up for this, but um, I'm gonna start this at like fifty bucks because it's kind of rare, and uh, see what I can get for it, guys. So pick that up. <clears throat> All right, so over in uh, Hookset, and they actually changed locations. They're they're in a different spot now than before, and. Um, yeah, I didn't get much. Paid six dollars for this. This is a Portland Sea Dogs minor league baseball majestic extra large T-shirt. And whenever I see this team, I pick it up, guys. I've got a couple of their shirts in my store right now. I think I've only had one sale, one or two sales on Portland Sea Dogs. <clears throat> but I think that's gonna sell. This shirt is no big deal right here, guys. This is only $3, so I picked it up. This is a Cheerway to Heaven, Mad River Glen, Vermont. Double-sided skiing t-shirt. 
And I think this has a hole in it somewhere. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm probably going to get maybe 15 bucks for this. Maybe 17, we will see. Picked up a coffee mug. This is called Becky's on Hobson's Wharf. Portland, Maine, diner, coffee mug, coffee cup. And I looked this up and there's been a couple recent sales on this, guys. For, I think, 25 bucks a piece. Uh, this one's got a hairline fracture in it. But um, I did the pull test. And I can't get the pull apart. We're going to put some water in there see if it leaks. But uh, if not, hopefully I can get uh, at least 20 bucks for this, guys. So that was only $2 before the discount. And last time I found something pretty good. This is a OXO Softworks Shark uh, Pourer Spout. Brand new sealed. And um, I think there's a recent sold listing for over 35 bucks for this, guys. This was $4 before the discount. All right, so that was Hookset. And last place is uh, Concord, New Hampshire. I only found two things. In the women's section, I found this vintage single stitch Anvil, New Hampshire flower embroidered women's t-shirt. So vintage single stitch. I'm going to check it for stains. It's looking pretty good right now, but uh, nothing crazy here, guys. Size medium, made in the USA. I'm going to try to get about 17 to 20 bucks for this. On a good day, we will see. And last up is a kind of funny t-shirt. This is vintage, it's not single stitch. This is jerseys made in the USA tag. Um, love Alaskan style. And it's got different uh, Alaskan animals having sex. So uh, I thought that was pretty funny guys. And this is, this is vintage. It's probably from the late 90s. So something like this, guys, maybe uh, 20 bucks, 22 bucks. Nothing too crazy, but uh, I thought it was pretty funny, so I decided to pull the trigger. And that was it, guys. So nothing too crazy. The prices are out of control. I'm going to, my number one places right now are uh, St. Vincent de Paul. And Salvation Army, they are much cheaper than Goodwill. Goodwill, I don't know how they're going to stay in business, guys. But uh, we will see what happens. So thanks for watching my videos. I am out of here. Peace.